Chapter 15 The Continent of Antarctica The snow-covered land around the South Pole forms the continent of Antarctica. As this continent is located directly opposite to the Arctic Ocean around the North Pole, it is called the Antarctic. The name is derived from a Greek compound word which means opposite to the north. This continent was discovered very recently, about 200 years ago. This is the only continent which has no history of human habitation. However, nowadays scientists stay on this continent for some time for the purpose of research. It is surrounded by the Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Oceans. The portions of these oceans to the south of 60 degrees south latitude are together called the Southern Ocean. In terms of area, Antarctica ranks fifth among the continents. Location, Extent and Boundaries The latitudinal extent of this continent is from 60 degrees south to 90 degrees south, that is, up to the South Pole. See figure 15.1 and name the two continents that have land masses close to the continent of Antarctica. Physiography See figure 15.1 This continent is mostly snow covered. The mean thickness of snow here is around 2200 meters, whereas the maximum thickness is around 4500 meters. The central portion of this continent is a plateau and there are a few mountain ranges along the sides. The Dyer Plateau is situated on the Antarctic Peninsula of this continent. Ellsworth Mountain is to the south of it. Vinson Massif, 4,897 meters, in this mountain is the highest peak in this continent. The Trans-Antarctic Range extends from Pensacola near the South Pole till mountain Murchison. The eastern part of the continent also has a mountain range. Sir Rondane and Prince Charles Peaks and the American Highland are the major landforms seen in this region. Climate Compared to the other continents, Antarctica has limited latitudinal extent. As it is located in the high latitudes, it remains covered under ice all the year round. Therefore, it is said to be the continent of minimum temperature. The areas close to the South Pole experience a day and a night of six months each. Here, the mean annual temperature is around minus 60 degrees Celsius. In the region of the Antarctic Peninsula, the climate is comparatively warm. Summer temperatures in the coastal areas are above freezing point. All the year round, stormy winds blow in this continent. The continent experiences constant snowfall. However, some glaciers have started shrinking due to global warming. Natural Resources Natural Vegetation In summer, the ice along the coastal areas and on lands will steep slope melts. In such places, some types of mosses, lichen, algae, etc. grow. Due to short summers, the life cycle of the plants is limited to a few weeks. In winter, micro-aquatic plants that are capable of producing food even in weak sunlight are found here. Animal Life The flightless midge, a kind of insect, is found in the interior parts of this continent, whereas penguins, walrus, different type of seals, skua birds are seen in the coastal areas. Aquatic animals like small fish feeding on the microorganisms that float in seawater, krill, squid, etc. are found in this area. Whales feed mainly on krill and the soft-bodied squid. 
the animal life in this area shows close interdependence. Try to understand the food web in this area with the help of figure 15.2. Due to the extremely cold climate, biodiversity in this continent is quite limited. It is mainly seen in the coastal areas of the continent. Minerals The continent of Antarctica has reserves of minerals like iron ore, manganese, copper, lead, uranium, chromium, antimony, zinc, gold, etc. However, as this is considered to be global wealth by the Antarctica Treaty, no mineral is mined in this area. Research in Antarctica The United States of America showed increasing interest in the Antarctic research expeditions during the period from 1939 to 1941. Subsequently, countries like Russia, Japan, Sweden, Norway, France, New Zealand and India started research activities in this continent. The ozone layer in the atmosphere, global warming, changes in the sea level are the issues on which research is being carried on in particular. Efforts are also being made to gather information about rock formation, climate and the flora and fauna of this continent. Antarctic Treaty In 1959, 12 nations signed the Antarctic Treaty. The main aim of this treaty is the protection of the continent. It also has other objectives such as protecting the natural resources, conserving the environment and jointly carrying out research expeditions. The treaty has blocked destructive activities. It allows member countries to carry out research. It was agreed upon that the human population there should not increase and the continent should be free from pollution. Antarctica and India The first batch of scientists from India reached Antarctica on 9 January 1982. India established her first research station Dakshin Gangotri in Antarctica in the year 1983. Self-operating equipment for the observation of climatic phenomena had been set up there. Maitri, a permanent research station, was established in year 1989. The research station Dakshin Gangotri was closed in 1991. The Department of Ocean Development established a Polar Research Institute in 1998. Research regarding issues like depletion of ozone gas, sea level changes, solar energy and environment conducive to the living world is carried on in this institute. The fact that our country is one of the few countries carrying on research at Antarctica is a matter of pride for us. Environmental Issues Even in this high latitudinal and uninhabited continent, some environmental issues have cropped up. Number 1. There is a threat of increase in sea level due to the melt of ice from the continent as a result of global warming. Number 2. The number of typical animals like penguin, walrus, seal, etc. is decreasing due to climatic change. Number 3. Seals and whales are hunted for obtaining oil and fat. As a result, their number is decreasing. Recently, some restrictions have been imposed on the hunting of seals and whales. 